Hey everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And y'all, I know it's been a while. I know. But I wanted to come in and weigh in on this Jada and Will Smith saga that we've been tortured with this past few weeks. Y'all, what the hell is wrong with this girl? I am so over her running her mouth that it's not even funny you know this whole interview that she did these comments that she she makes what is going on with her now here's my problem with Jada Will is her husband this is not some boyfriend this is the father of her children she is not only clowning him in the public eye but the way she speaks about their dad you know in the public eye has to affect his children with her in some way y'all let me tell you i could not stand my ex when we broke up and i'm pretty sure he couldn't stand me but for the sake of his child, I did not constantly drag his name through the mud. My feeling was this. When she got older, she would figure out whether he was good, bad, or whatever. She would figure it out on her own. I did not want to be the one who's putting this thing in her head. Because if she grew up and felt different, then all of her anger would fall back on me if she was like hey my mom was talking about my dad all the time but he's not so bad i wonder could it have been her so that's why i didn't do it also when you sit up and talk about your man your husband like that what does that say about your choices you know this is the man that she chose to marry. You know, she keeps this running dialogue about her soulmate, Tupac. But Tupac, from what I remember, wasn't all gaga over her like she appears to have been over him. Y'all, I'm not going to say that Tupac and her did mess around because I don't know. But I feel like this. Tupac friend zoned her. And the reason why I believe that is because I remember, or at least I seem to remember, some girl named Keisha who Tupac married. Now, from what, if memory serves me correctly, when Tupac was incarcerated, this girl named Keisha is the one that held him down. I believe that that girl moved closer to the prison he was at and I believe she was the one that was visiting him. I believe that I remember Tupac asking her to marry him while he was incarcerated and then when he got out they got married. Now I don't remember the marriage lasting very long. I believe that the marriage was annulled within the first year and then after that I remember Tupac messing around with one of Quincy Jones's daughters and from what I remember she was the one that had his heart. I don't remember Tupac sitting up you know gushing over Jada. What I remember is him talking about them being like good friends that they had um, went to school together. She was from his old neighborhood and I truly believe that Tupac had a special place in his heart for her as his friend but I don't think that he was all gaga over her like she was over him like I said I believe they may have messed around a little bit but I believe that it was more it meant more to her than what it did to him Y'all, as far as Will, I don't believe in their marriage that either one of their hands are clean. But one thing that I will give Will that I cannot give Jada, Will does not get in public 
and on a consistent basis clown his wife. He does not do that. And the way that she speaks about another man being her soulmate and you know um you know their relationship the innermost workings of their marriage is shameful you know i don't know what her end game is is she trying to destroy his reputation destroy his career because after he hauled off and slapped Chris Rock at that award show he was canceled and she probably was happy about that you know it's it's like she's not in love with him I believe she loves him but she's not in love with him that deep love that makes you not want to hurt the person because what she's doing is hurting him. You know, it's hurting his reputation. It's hurting who he is in the eyes of his children, his, fam his family, his friends. It's shameful what she's doing. And I honestly believe that Jada is jealous of Will's career. And she takes every opportunity to knock him down the peg. I believe that he truly loves her. And maybe she's the love of his life. So he's taken a lot of her shit. Because he loves her. But do I believe she feels the same way about him? No, I don't. I believe that when they got together, Jada saw opportunity. Will was on fire when they got together. I believe he was in line to do Ali. Um, he had had a Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He had had that Alien movie. Um, and a couple other big box office um, movies that made a lot of money and got him a lot of fame. And, you know, a lot of talk about around Hollywood about him where directors were wanting him in their movie and he was a big thing and I believe that it bothered Jada because technically Jada was the actor and Will was the rapper but when Will left rap and switched his career to acting not only did he put his foot in it but Will conquered it because in that movie where he played um, the guy who was the investment banker, what was the pursuit of happiness? Will Smith did his thing because whenever there was a scene where he needed to pull at your heartstrings and bring tears to your eyes or make you feel the weight of what was happening in that scene, Will got me. He had me crying all through that movie. When he finally became a broker or whatever it was that that man was trying to become, I was so happy and so relieved. I almost felt like Will had become that man. He did such a good job. Jada's jealous, y'all. She's jealous. All of this talk is to keep herself relevant, to keep herself in the spotlight, to sell her book. Because basically, other than the Red Table Talk and these few little eyes and in movies where she has supporting role, Will is the is the is the star of that duo right there. He's the star. And it's like she takes every opportunity to knock him down a peg. But like I said, what is her end game? What do you want to see happen to him? You know, y'all, like I mentioned, I could not stand my ex. But I didn't want to destroy him. I just wanted him to leave me alone, go on over there, leave me alone. I go over here and leave him alone. I feel like this. When we loved 
we loved. But when we were done, we were done. I don't want to sully his character in the eyes of his child or in the eyes of the public. What I say about my ex is he wasn't a bad guy. He just wasn't right for me, you know? And I can leave it at that. It takes nothing from me to say that, you know? The man wasn't a bad guy. He just wasn't good for me. So with Jada, I don't get her, y'all. I don't get her. I don't understand her motives. I don't know what her end game is. I believe, like I said, this girl has either lost her damn mind or she's a raging narcissist who doesn't care how she leaves her family after all of this plays out. How she leaves her husband, her children, his family. Will's mother is alive, you know. What does his mother think of all this? Because if Will was my son, man, I would be calling my son like, pack your shit and come on home. I wouldn't care how old he is, what gray hair he had. I'd be like, baby, look, come on home. Leave her alone. Obviously, this woman don't love you. You can do better. That's what I would be telling my son. So the only thing I can think on Will's behalf, he truly loves her. He truly, truly loves her. And the sad part about this is when they got together, like I mentioned, Will was... He was banging. He could have had any woman that he wanted during that time. He chose her. He chose her. For all that she's talking about Tupac, Tupac didn't choose her. Tupac married somebody else. Tupac was laid up in his mansion with another woman. Uh, Quincy Jones's daughter? I believe that Tupac was a player. He had a lot of women that liked him. But I believe the one that he married, she touched something in him that made him ask her to marry him and go through with it. Now, like I said, they didn't last. But something about that girl made him say, I do. And I also know that he felt something deep for Quincy Jones's daughter. But y'all, I don't remember Tupac being on television or in interviews talking about this undying love and that Jada was his soulmate and all this crap that she's saying. Because if that was the case, why then did when Will called Jada back in the day when they were getting together and he said, hey, I like you, come be with me. Why did she throw away everything, drop everything, pack her shit, and hop on the first flight out going to Will? If, if she had all this going on with Tupac, why did she run to Will? Why didn't she wait for Tupac, who she claims was her knight in shining armor? Why didn't she wait on him? Because she knew Tupac wasn't feeling her all like that. Like I said, I believe Tupac friend zoned her. I believe he messed around with her because he knew he could. Because he knew how she felt about him. So maybe when they were in each other company, Tupac made her feel like, hey, you know, you my boo thing. And she ate that shit up. She ate it up and believed it. But I don't believe Tupac felt that way. You know? At the end of the day, Jada is going to look back on this. And really, you know, reflect on what she did. Because if Will decides to say, hey, you know what? I'm done. I'm divorcing this heifer and I'm on. My thing is this, seeing how she operates, what guy is going to want to be dealing with that? That everything that goes on in their relationship, she's on 
talking about it and you know basically saying some other man is her soulmate you know what man after watching all this is one gonna want to deal with her she might regret this one day because if this boy gets up and say hey look I'm 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 tired of your shit I'm out you know I I don't know who gonna be lining up for Jada you know not no A-list celebrities because they have sat, sat and witnessed all this just like we have and they're probably sitting somewhere scratching their heads like what is this girl's end game let me know what y'all think about it this is what I believe is going on she's a raging narcissist she's self-important and she is trying to knock him down the peg because she was jealous of his career let me know what y'all think down in the comments see you next time bye bye